What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm a senior data scientist for the parent company of Adblock and, and Adblock Plus. And I'm here today to reveal some of the fucking bullshit on the internet around learning data science or maybe even data analytics in three months. And I think this applies to most tech principles like uh, software engineering, front end, UI, UX, whatever. But I'm just going to focus on data because that's what I know. And I'm going to tell you about why this is complete bullshit. And uh, yeah, let's get to it because... I am fucking pissed off with all these fucking influencers selling you a dream. And the reason they're selling you a dream is because when there's a gold rush, you don't get rich by going to the gold. You get rich by selling shovels. And that's what's happening. They're prying on your hope. They're prying on your dreams. They're giving you some BS roadmap. They're telling you learn maths and stats in 20 days. Learn some bullshit in five days. Learn programming in one week. Oh, learn SQL in one week. This is fucking dumb. This is super fucking dumb. It doesn't work like this. And this is actively preventing you from getting the job you want because it's giving you a mindset that these skills are easy to learn. And now the market is flooded with all these people that think they can do the job when they've spent hardly any time understanding the fundamentals, knowing what the fuck is going on. And now you have to compete with all of these people to get your CV looked at by a recruiter and then even get an interview. There's so much information online and there's all these courses and all these tutorials and all these blog posts and they are keeping you in tutorial hell. They're also giving you a safety net for when you are scared and you don't know what to do, you're just gonna go and look at this course. And they're giving you this mindset that just cause you can watch this video and do some shit project that you're gonna get the understanding of what the fuck is going on. And that's not how you retain the information because you might watch a video and do some shallow shit project and do some bullshit exercise, but that's not gonna give you the intuitive understanding of why you should do something. Because when you're going to be a junior, you might not be making bigger decisions, but you're going to have to do the work effectively, accurately, and fast. And that's not what you're going to be able to do. And when you can't do that, you're going to start thinking this job is hard, or this job is bullshit, or what the fuck have I done? And even if you don't, over time, this feeling of imposter syndrome is going to start creeping up. And then you're going to start watching videos on how to cure imposter syndrome. And imposter syndrome happens for two reasons. You don't have the self-worth or you're fucking shit at your job. And usually it's a combination of both, but at least you can get rid of the I'm shit at my job part. To actually get good, you need to be there and be stuck on the problem and you need to spend time on it and you need to figure out what works and what doesn't and why it works and why it doesn't so that you can actually build intuition. You can have a feeling for what you need to do rather than some bullshit algorithm that you think you can get on a fucking tweet or a LinkedIn post that tells you if it's like this, do this. That's not how it works in the real world. These skills take years to master. And I know you're just trying to get a job and you don't need to have 10 years worth of experience to get a junior job, but you're competing with so many people now. And the only way to stand out is to be so good that they can't ignore you. And the way you can be good is by doing real fucking shit, writing real fucking articles, not some bullshit chat GPT written crap that, or you're copying and pasting articles and you have no idea what the hell is going on because you're faking knowledge. And when you get to that interview, after all these applications that you've done, you're going to fail it because people like me who don't even know that much, I would say in the grand scheme of things, will find out that you know nothing and that sucks for you because that's what you were sold. You were sold that you could do these bullshit courses and get an understanding of why you're doing what you're doing. But that's not how this works. When I'm looking for a junior, I'm going to read their CV. I'm going to see what projects they've done. I'm going to see what internships, if they have internships they've done or any relevant experience. And I'm going to pry into it because you've written these three lines, which I probably know is a fucking lie anyway, which is okay. Well, which is not okay. Don't lie on your CV, but I know that a lot of your CV is kind of fluffed up and you've done all this other bullshit, blah, blah, blah. but realistically, I'm going to see what you've written. I'm going to pry it open and I'm going to ask you questions. And if you can't answer my questions, you're not even going to get through the first round of the interviews, let alone get to the coding stage or the SQL stage or the, the probability in the stats stage where I'm going to ask you brain teasers and I'm going to ask you these stats questions because I want to see if you can think about stats properly. I'm not going to feed you a linear roadmap. And that's another really annoying thing about these 
videos. They think you learn this, then do this, then do this, and you're going to be a data scientist or a data analyst or some data person. That's not how this works. There's so many different concepts that relate to each other in so many different ways. There isn't a fucking linear sequence of paths that you can be spoon fed through some bullshit course that you're going to understand. You will never get good like this. You will never stand out like this. And the tech job market is changing. It's evolving. There's more people than ever to compete with. There's less jobs than ever. And tech is becoming like finance. You're going to need early, early prior experience through an internship that you can funnel into a job to actually start your career. Or you're going to need relationships. If you don't have any of these, you're going to have to build relationships through DMs or knowing people and getting referrals. Or you're going to have to be so good they can't ignore you through the online posts that you're making. And that's it, man. I'm not here to tell you it's going to be okay. This is a hard industry to get into now. And if you want to get into it because you love it, then this is a challenge that I think you can overcome. If you're here to be like, oh, I did model.fit and now I'm going to be a data scientist. You are going to be a shit data scientist. You're going to be useless at the job. And I've worked with data scientists that only want to build models. And that's not how this job works. You need to have an entire understanding of the entire data pipeline because you will be working on writing code to transform data, load data somewhere else, write production ready code that's going to be used daily. You're going to be taking all this information. You have to think creatively about problems. You're going to have to come up with ways of engineering your features in clever ways. You're going to have to select the right model. You're going to have to test that model. You're going to have to evaluate that model. And then if you deploy it into production, you're going to have to compare it with the existing champion model. It's not easy anymore. It's not easy. And it sucks to say it's not easy because five, 10 years ago, it might have been easier. Those jobs five to 10 years ago were gatekept by you need a master's or you need a PhD. And they're lowering the requirements because you can learn all this stuff on your own. But the thing is, some bullshit Google data analytics certificate is not going to get you a job. All these bullshit certificates show is that you have some enthusiasm about the subject and you're willing to understand that this is a credentialism game and maybe it's some bonus points. When I look at a CV and I see so many of these certificates, I'm like, okay, cool. I don't care. I, I do not give a shit because they are in the interview now. All of that stuff doesn't matter anymore. Can you pass my interview? Can you pass my manager's interview? Can you pass my peer's interview? Can you pass any of the interviews? That's all that matters. Once you, But to even be selected to interview, you need to be someone worth selecting. It's so difficult now. And I don't want you to be discouraged because it is a good life. It is a cool job. There's so many cool things you can do. It's always growing. It's always changing. There's so much beauty in the subject. But it's getting bastardized by all these people that are applying because they have some bullshit certificate and it's going to dilute the job market because that's why the average applicant sucks. They don't have the skills. And when you get to university and, you do, and you're in university or you finish university, they're not going to prepare you for how to do a job. They're preparing you for the exam that you need to take or the coursework you need to complete. But that isn't giving you the real life job skills, which sucks. I'm sorry about it. Like... I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, you just have to be better now. This is what the job market has evolved into. And if you can't be better, you're going to be left behind. And you're going to do these data science masters that cost so much money. And I've looked at these masters and they suck. They suck. Unless you go to a great university and that great university is only doing this as a cash grab and they're going to give you this credential they may be taught you some things and they've only really thought you taught you the theory none of the application none of how it relates with anything else nothing about how you're going to use this in an actual job and now you you have a bunch of useless knowledge because you're not using half this shit. We are very practical data scientists. We have data. We need to use that data to come up with some insight or to optimize some part of the business. And that's what we do. I'm not writing proofs. I, I'm reading a paper, maybe, and then I'm taking the information and I'm applying it or I'm taking what I already know and applying it to get some insights. This is what the job is. Like you need to destroy your understanding of what you think a fucking data science job is and start really, really getting a reality check on what this industry is or what this industry has become. You exist to take data, make insights and make a business decision. That's it. And you're not going to learn that at university because the university exists to teach you the subject and that's fine. And that's beautiful in its own way, but you don't deserve a fucking job just because of you have a fucking degree and getting all of these job skills. That's tough. And no one is teaching that. And the thing is, 
I want to teach it and I will teach it. But that still doesn't mean you know it. Because you can watch a fucking video, but that doesn't mean you understand what the hell is going on. It's not a spectator sport. You have to participate. You have to participate. Like, I can't stress that enough. All of these fucking videos that are like an eight-hour course on this is the basics of data analysis. That's fucking bullshit, dude. That's a reference video. That's something you use when you want to just get exposed to the topic and see what you can do. But that doesn't mean you know what to do. Knowing what to do and seeing what's available for you to do are two different things. If you're using ChatGPT to learn, I get it. You can use it to learn, but you're not actually going to fucking know what the hell is going on because it's unearned wisdom. ChatGPT is great once you have a solid understanding of the fundamentals. And that's what I really want to drill into you. Have mastery over the fundamentals and then you can use ChatGPT. If you don't have mastery over the fundamentals, you're getting unearned wisdom and it's fucking bad for you because what you think you know will hurt you more than what you don't know. And this is the reality of the situation. You are trying to compete with the best of the best now. And you're also trying to compete with the thousands of fucking subpar applicants that are applying. That's just the reality. When some of the comments in the previous video of, about the tech job market is cooked, one guy wrote, he got 1,500 applicants for a SWE job. That's what's going to happen. That's what is happening. So if you want to stand out, you got to be good and you got to let people know you're good. And the way you let people know you're good is by posting online and having relationships and building them through DMs and passing that interview. That's it. I hope this gave you a reality check because you cannot learn data science in three months. And if you think you can, you're fucked. That being said, I will be making videos on like a roadmap but it's not gonna be a linear spoon-fed roadmap. It's going to be a graph structure because some of these things you can't learn sequentially. You might have to learn one and then go back to the other and learn one and go back to the other and keep cycling because you it's, it's a layered knowledge. You need to learn everything at a foundational level. Then you can learn the next set of layers and build your pyramid of knowledge. And it takes time. And to be a junior, you don't need 10 years of experience and you don't need to know everything, but you need to build a solid foundation. You need to get these first two layers in and then you can be a fantastic candidate. And then your only problem is getting an interview. And you can get interviews through DMs and through all these other fucking methods like referrals and posting your content online. That's your content and not AI generated and isn't copy pasted. It's stuff you've written and that will help you solidify these foundations. And when you do that, things will start changing. But 90% of you won't do that. Because you want to be spoon-fed a fucking answer. That won't work. That just won't work anymore, man. I'm sorry to say it. I, like, I feel bad because it's difficult now. The way I got into data science, I don't think anyone could get into data science. And I'll make a video on how I got into data science a different day. And I'll make a video on the roadmap a different day. But I'm here just making this video now to let you know that things have changed. And you cannot follow these fucking bullshit influences on YouTube. They're just making a buck off you, man. Oh, fuck. Cool. These influencers are just making money off you and that's okay for them. But if you want to really stand out or you want to switch into this field, be prepared for the mountain you have to climb. Set your expectations properly. There is no, this is the best roadmap to learn data analytics or data science in 2025. This is how I, this one weird trick helped me learn data science in three months. This is all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Okay, you learn by sitting and doing the problem and failing and adapting and trying new things and figuring out what works and what doesn't. And then only then once you've struggled with the problem, that's only when you learn. And I like, that's it, man. There's nothing else. You can't learn data science in three months. You can't learn data analytics in three months. There's no zero to hero course that's going to save you. All of this is just prying on your emotion. Be better than that. This job market needs people that are so good at the job that they can't be ignored. And if you can do that, you will be safe. But if you can't do that, then you need a reality check. And that's it. Peace.